players are ready to go, so they can uh, get the uh, game started. So guys, when you're ready, you can do a restart and start the game. Round one, fight! <laughs> So we have uh, Da Juice, who normally registers as uh, Juicy Penguin, or multiple other names, playing as uh, Katana. Around Brisbane, he's known as Will, since uh, he does play multiple fighting games, including Smash, which he'll be playing later tonight. And we've got Hallway 86 here playing with uh, Takeda. We've only got uh, six players tonight for MKXL, so hopefully we can bring a decent tournament. No. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Got hallway 86 easily taking the uh, first round at the moment. We're just uh, playing around with the stream at the moment, making sure everything is set up nicely for the rest of the evening. The uh, tournament tonight, winner's final, loser's final, and grand final will all be first to three. Oh, so, yeah, best of five, and um, Katana. Round one. Fight. And each game before that will be uh, first to two. So we'll just picking up Katana just before we started tonight. Asked uh, some questions of who's top tier, and Katana was a name that was thrown around. And hallway 86 taking that first round. Round two, fight. <laughs> Nice 28% combo there. Uh, the, the juice not blocking the overhead. Oh, and gets hit by the NJP. Although it can do more damage than 13% off the NJP with Takeda. Well, that's unsafe. Punishes it with the X ray. Could have used a better. Maybe a punish that didn't use all three bars. 35% is nothing to be sneezed at. Nice down two, just saying get out of there. No punish once again. And the overhead takes the game. And that is a quick 2-1 to hallway. So, we can see here now that our a nice little setup here at Jubilee Hotel where we have uh, games running every Thursday night. Tekken at the moment is the main one every second Thursday where quite a few people are on. So, let's find out. We've, got, um, we've only got six players on tonight's tournament. We'll bring up the, uh, the bracket so everyone can see the bracket. So just the six players, as you can see on the bracket there, we um, just trying to find out who is 
who is up next, tournament-wise. So Luke here, who runs PvP Gaming, is actually playing tonight. So good to see the uh, the owner of the PvP Gaming playing some NRS games. Yeah. He's playing uh, both of them tonight. I used to be good at more than that. Now it's disgusting. <laughs> you playing way too much. It's like playing computer for like why am I talking? I'm holding back. <laughs> Uh, whichever one he he didn't. What's your game? You're Lucas Aid, aren't you? Yeah. You play play one or play two? Sub zero. All right, next game is about to start. We've got LucasAid versus uh, Biffipedo. Uh, Round one, fight. I'm just going through a quick button check. I would uh, definitely be doing the button check with whoever signed in as me. Uh, my throw, I have reversed my throw in my interactable. I reversed the shit. Alright, so the boys are about to start, but. So I've got uh, Beef Pedo here playing Raiden, and Lucas8 has started with uh, Sub Zero. Alright, so are we going in? Yep. Good to go. Round one. Fight. So it looks like I will switch these names over. Because A seems to be in player two. Oh, drops the rest of the combo. That could have been big damage. And Sub Zero really wanting to get Raiden in the corner, especially since it's not displacer. So the teleport out isn't the an option there. And there's a punish there. Do not provoke a god. Round two, fight. <laughs> Oh, nice setup there with the orbs. Very good. And the overhead. And that should cl close out game one. Bifapito easily taking that first game. Raiden wins. Alright, going back into the game. No player select there from Luke. Oh, he only plays the one character since he does play a prefer of games currently. The wise know when to yield. Going for that orb setup. Can you chip this out to finish? Oh, and that's punishable. There we go. On match point here for Bethpedo. He's doing quite well. As I said, this isn't Luke's main game. Nice clone toss, unfortunately. He's blocked. Oh, uh, there's the uh, orb set up. Drops the combo. He's not happy with himself. He's shaking his head. 
Going for another orb set up. And that's punishable. Drops the combo. This needs to close this out. And there we go with a brutal. What a great brutal. Alright, 2-0 to Bifepito. Alright, I must be due for a game at some stage. Okay. We, um... Just trying to find out from Luke here. Me and Brendan. Yep. Two mics for commentary, boys. Don't be shy. Yeah. Alrighty, so Juicy Justin is up first. Player one. Spell your name again, Brendan. Yeah, Gamma. -E B E F A. Oh, I was just trying to spell it. I don't know if I spelled it right. First tribal up first. Smoke shader. Tribal. Streaming is not my game, people. I'm the tournament organizer. <laughs> I'll leave this to the experts. You can jump on commentary, Dakota. You actually know what's going on inside and out. Hey. Right. Okay. <laughs> Alright, man. Feeling each other out. I oh, just button checking. Justice, he says.
burning it's the first one. Round one, fight. Just are looking very rusty so far. Does it finish? Wins. <laughs> it's just match. Yeah. I'm going to play first of two at once. Justin back on commentary after losing that game. We'll bring, we've got the bracket up at the moment. Biff Pito goes into winner's final. Who we got on the other winner's semi? What's he, what, what's he playing as? I'm not putting that in. A, <laughs> I'm just putting Solid Snake in. Uh, Papa, actually, Papa Cheese might be better. Is it just P A P A Cheese? Papa Cheese, who's he playing? Hallway. All right, let's get this going. When was the last time you played Mortal Kombat, Justin? Oh uh, well, yeah, 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 I played it on Saturday night. Got wall up 10-0. Um, by Wasmanator, Australia's number one player at the moment, <laughs> and he even won in uh, Injustice on Sunday night. So, first time I haven't jinxed someone by playing a bad play <laughs> and losing tournament. Because I seem to have done that quite regularly of recent time. Play someone warm ups for a major tournament and they end up losing once they hit top eight. So, yeah. All right, so. Sorry for the delays, people, but it is Papa Cheese's fault. <laughs> yes. All right, so. Still in the first of two bo stage, boys. So knowing Dakota heal more than or Papa Cheese I should say, he will pick Ninjutsu Scorpion. And Hallway did have a great run in Takeda earlier. So let's see how these two go. Yeah. Yep, they'll do a button check to start with. Round one. Fight! So they're just running, wrapping up the button check. We'll get straight into it. We'll see how many people we've actually got uh, on stream tonight. Who's actually watching? Oh, we're up to four. Not bad. <laughs> Considering we've only got six players in the tournament. Yes, the Brisbane NRS scene needs to uh, needs to grow a bit more. 
Alright, here we go. First game. Oh, big down two there from uh, Papa Cheese. Just saying, get off me. Nice blocks there. Armin's through that. Oh, there's a big punish. This should be a big combo. 34% if he knows his combo. 33. It's uh, Dakota's DP there. Takes it out. I wonder if Dakota's going to try and pay that out later. Gets him with the low string. Another DP. Oh, clutch finish here. Oh, and the armor. Straight through. This is the end of you. Round two. Five. Next round, they're starting very close to each other. The down one hits. Here comes the combo. Papa Cheese, the Scorpion Mage. Should nail this. Into the overhead reset. Oh, and the NJP from Takeda hits. That's uh, dropping the, uh, the White Sword there. The... Um, He's not getting it under him, which means he's very much open. Upper Cheese just wanting to finish this out. Gets it with the overhead. We're going straight into a restart. Round one. Fight! Big combo to start. Burns the meter. 39% into a reset, into a throw. That's over 50% damage already. Armor's through. Armor's back. Trading armor. Oh, and then Dakota goes to cheeky armor breaking low sweep. Cancels the teleport but gets done by the NJP. The overhead into the lightsaber drop. Oh, there it is. And that should be the game. Or well, the round. Papa Cheese on a match point. Reset with the low. Another DP there. Surprised Dakota's not trying to bait that. Should say Dakota. Pop a cheese here. Oh, the EX Spear. Gets him. Oh. Is that a, a half reset there? This is the punish. Oh, NJP. 18% on the NJP. And another NJP. He's really nailing these NJPs. Baiting move out. Can he close the other own? Oh, and the down two to finish it. The boys win that quite a Dakota winning that one. So that's a winner's semi done. Alright, so where are we going into next, Luke? Luke's just jumping off commentary for a sec. So guys, thanks for tuning in. We've got four people. Was it five? Was it back to four? In the chat at the moment. So guys, we can see you. If you want to talk to us commentary, go for it. At the moment, we do have... Um, yeah, it looks like I'm going up. All right, so I'm up. Boys? Guys, come on commentary. Here we go, we've got Papa Cheese and Lucas 8 on commentary. 
Are we meant to be able to hear each other through the headsets? What's that? Are we meant to be able to hear each other through the headsets? No, we're just talk, um, talking live, so yeah. Yeah. The headsets are just mics. Okay. Don't need to hear anyone else. No? Okay. No point, because you won't hear anyone else. Yeah, yeah. So you've got two chats for a reason? No, no. It's just that they're there. I can walk around with one if I want to test anything. Make sure the stream's working. Round one. Fight! Sick monkey was cheering for you, Dakota. Yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Katana versus smoke. Oh wait, is that good? Have to do the switcheroo, I think. We punish. Random teleports. He's holding his he's holding yeah. himself pretty well for someone who doesn't play Mortal Kombat at all. Yeah, yeah, this, this katana is like three hours off. So not too bad at all. The juice is the jack of all trades of the scene. Good at great at smash and Tekken. A little bit of injustice. Very good black canary. Oh, 
brutality. He's coming out. Oh, he's boy, he's side to sub. Just up one nil. Oh, that's gonna be a big punish. Nice on the game for you. Juicy Justin back on commentary after a very scrappy smoke play. Then again, Will did very well picking up Katana only, what, an hour ago? Two hours ago? Yeah, yeah. Katana. Oh, we got young Peppy in, uh, in chat. Shout outs to uh, Elbert there. Alright, so now we have um, 
got Lucasite, the owner of the PvP Gaming, who runs this event up on stream. He is playing against Hallway, so we should see. Um, we should see. Uh, yeah, we should see Luke playing Sub Zero. And he is playing Hallway 86. Takeda, are we doing a button check first, boys? Yeah. Yep. Alright, we'll switch this back to game mode once these guys are ready. Still running through button check at the moment, guys, so we will get this started in a second. Shout out to everyone watching tonight. So guys, thanks thanks for tuning in. We will be running Injustice 2 after this one. Oh, what? Oh. oh, Luke gets the clone out. Gets the no combo punish though. Twenty five percent there with uh, Takeda. Oh, using all the tricks with the uh, sword at the moment. Luke not blocking the low. Oh, and that's punishable. Down to the finish of the round. round Alright. We've got... Um, I'll just fix up the sounds here, guys. We're just getting some feedback saying that we need to work a bit on it. So hopefully the mics are just uh, standard mics here, standard gaming headsets, and we've got the Elgato coming in with the feed. So if our mics are too loud or the game is too loud, just let us know and we can try and change that. So Luke gets out the x-ray there. Oh, and the neutral jump punch to finish it. This should be game Wonder Hallway finishes it with a throw. Is the brutality coming out? No, it's not. Alright, so there we go. Hallway winning that first game. We should update that. We're not in winner's bracket. We're in loser's bracket at the moment. Loser of this is done tonight. We've only got a six-player tournament. Luke's hitting player select screen. Who's he changing to? No, he's going Goro by the looks of it. I don't know how well he knows, knows it. Let's quickly transition to the boys there so everyone can see uh, the two of them ready to play. They're having a chat at the moment. Let's get the game back up. Well, then JP whiffs. Nice extension on the combo. Launched this only 25%. Oh, and another NJP in the corner. Could have been big damage. I feel like Luke is slightly button mashing here at the moment. And he's just owned up to button mashing. So uh, making a comeback, and there's uh, Takeda's DP there, Ronan's DP, not available in the other variations. Um, this is where the lightsaber goes, he did that in the first game, looks like he just needs to adjust that input. So we can get those, that combo going. Oh, the X-ray is blocked. Oh, there's the NJP again. Seems to be really going for that NJP. And once again, that uh, the lightsaber on the ground misses. 
And this time the brutality is coming out. There we go, 2-0 the whole way. Not bad guys, let's... There we go, Hallway's winning that one. I think I need to play. Stay on, I think. Luke, am I next? Luke? Am I playing him now? Yep. Alright, so I'm up. Hopefully we can get someone else. Will? Someone on stream? Alright, guys. I actually know nothing about MK. I'm out. Zone two. All right. So we've got Scorpion versus Takeda. I don't even know what the matchup is, but uh, I'll commentate as we go. Round one. Fight. All right. <laughs> Here we go with combo here. Be a nice decent amount of damage. Oh no. This is the punish. Oh I know. Juicy's Justin on the board now. Round One round up. Oh, he needs to make something happen here. No. He's keeping up this pressure. Oh, okay. Nice. So it's 2-1, uh, one that? nil oh, to Juicy Just. Round one, fight! Ooh, catch 
comes into that board too. Quick punish. Drops it. Yeah. Armor's through with the wake up. Grab. Run up, grab. Never gets old in Mortal Kombat. Oh, nice back foot three. Back foot four, sorry. It's down four. Four three. Oh, whip, grab. Break up. Oh, we saw that coming. Lightsabers. Oh, pressure to grab. That was a nice grab. Another grab. It's jumping to grab. Oh, armor's through. Wake up. Raise the sun. Jump in. Oh, he drops it. Oh, here we go. Bit of damage. There it is. Praise the sun. Oh, armor's through. Yucky. Good games. Alright. Juicy Justin back on stream with commentary here. Well, we're going to have um, winners final on now, which will be first to uh, three instead of first to two. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Um, you two up. Let's go. All right, so winner's final coming up now. We're going to have um, Biffy Pito versus Papa Cheese. Most people will know Papa Cheese is an uh, online tagline as Solid Snake. All right, so winner's final coming up. Yeah, first to three now. Yep, all games from here on in are first to three. I see the beast in the chat giving shit to Sydney people. Melbourne no, is normally watching my Tekken streams on Thursday nights, but we only do Tekken every th second Thursday. Uh, so we got um, MKX tonight. So good to see people tuning in for MKX. Injustice is coming up afterwards. So I know uh, Solid Snake is main in ninjutsu. Or Papa Cheese as he's playing tonight. But for Peter, it does have a pretty good Ermac and a pretty good Raiden. So let's see what those boys are going to bring it up. Are we doing a button check to start with, boys? Yep, button check to start with. Your mate Abby's in the chat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's bring this over. So button check about to start, and then we'll go straight into the game. All right, handshakes on. There we go. Game on. Oh, we need to switch the, the uh, names. Bifapito playing with the Ermac. Gets him with the overhead, but didn't have enough charge on the soul ball. Oh, and the X-ray to close out the round. Always think that's a great idea, using an X-ray or something similar to close out a round. Use the meter, close the round out, go on to round two with that first round, and build the meter up if you need it for round three. the combo that would have been big damage. Omax no known for good damage in this game. In fact in the last patch I think they even nerfed it a, a fraction. Both with the respect of the blocks of each other. Oh soul ball comes out could have been punished. It gets him with the overhead no follow up. Throws back into the corner. What's the mix? Baits the armor but nothing after that. Throwing back into the corner. Uses the, the string with all mids. Oh, that whiffed, and that could have been. There we go. One round each now. First game, it's first to uh, first to three, best of five. Soul ball hits with full charge, breaks the combo. Good decision there to break. That could have been big damage. Tries the overhead, blocks it. Both going with the overhead. Oh, and the raw soul ball hits. This could be big damage. Oh, it drops the end of it. And the pun no punish on the wake up. There's a soul ball again. It's been hit by these soul balls. Oh, wake up teleport. Makes it with standing reset here. Goes into the throw. Oh, massive uppercut there. Alright, who's going to clutch this out? This is tight. Game one. Oh, blocks the overhead. That should be punishable. Yeah. 
Befapito taking game one in winner's final. Nice pressure there from Scorpion. From Papa Cheese, I should say. And gets the low. Breaks that. Good once again, could have been big damage. Oh, let's drop that combo again. A lot of us are rusty at the moment, not playing MKX for a while. I know I was, that's for sure. Oh, whiffs that, no punish. There he comes in, that should be it. Surprised he burned the meter, he could close that out without burning it. There's a tricky mix up there. That 2-1-2 um, two, two is the overhead. 2-1 then down 3 for the low. You go 2-1 into throw. So three options after that. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one is a plus 2 on block. As a, as a Scorpion main, I know that. But I haven't played much Scorpion of recent time. Other than that, one win, one loss before. There we go, 2-1 into the throw. Oh, down two, must have bait, wanted to bait something out there. Oh, could this close it? The EX teleport after the string whiffs. Oh, jumps over the move, and that's it, 1-1. One, one. Papa Cheese on the board now in winner's final, one all. That down for Scorpions gets chucked out quite a bit. Just hoping that your uh, opponent doesn't jump when you chuck that down four out. You've got a, somewhat of a punish there. There it is, using the uh, the overhead low mix-up on the double swords. The uh, the low is very punishable if blocked, but doesn't go in the combo. The overhead does go into the combo. Looks like Papa Cheese has woken up at the moment and really going well. In the chat at the moment, looks like we've got uh, nine viewers, so shout outs to all nine, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget we do have a chat feed in front of us, so you can talk at any stage. No, the down four, the, or the back four, the two-headed um, sweep, which breaks most armors until the last patch when a lot of players did get uh, moves where there's two hits of armor instead of the one. On the jump in. That would have been big damage, so the break was needed. Throws in the corner. What's going to be the pressure? Hits him with the low. And that's two games to one. Surprised Befapito isn't considering switching. He does have a very good um, Raiden. I think he plays most variations of Raiden, and also his Ermac, the other variation of Ermac, he does play a Spectral. He did tell me one line, he doesn't like Mystic, even though you see Mystic quite a bit in tournaments. That's a nice combo there, 36%. Uh, there's that mix up with the uh, Double Sword Ninjutsu. And uh, Papa Cheese now on match point. After going down the first game, he has pretty much taken five rounds in a row after that. Good decision to break there. He's built a bar back up. Bifapito sitting on two bars, so he can go in and use a combo break if he wants something unsafe. Is he going to break? Yes, he does. Oh, missed the end of that. I think Bifapito just needs to close out a round here. And there he goes. Nice work. He's back on the board. Still match point for Papa Cheese. Oh, it gets tagged by the forward two. Doesn't work with the reset end. 
Oh, and there's an overhead low that whiffs. This could be big damage once again. Decides to keep it unbreakable and putting him back in the corner. And there we go. Papa G's taking it out. Three games. So three run there too. To Papa G's. Most of you guys will know him as Solid Snake. So, Bifapito, you got to stay on now. Yeah. All the way you're on him. So this is Loser's final now. Once again, it is first to three. So guys, don't forget um, to hit the like buttons or following buttons for Twitch. We also have Facebook and... Uh, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. So once all these video, once the stream is done, a few hours later, video goes up on YouTube, so it can be watched back. So I hope everyone's having a good night tonight. We are at losers final. And it looks like we're going to see a Ronan Takeda versus Ermac. Just going through their buttons. I take it we're doing a button check. Yep. Yep. So button check coming up. Alright. All right, so just waiting for a button check here. Loser's final, first of three, best of five. All right, here we go. There's the handshake. Here we go, Biffa Peter versus Hallway 86. Let's see what... Goes over the projectile. That nice, uh, can't even remember the name of it. All I know is it's safe on block, goes over most projectiles. It looks like, with the amount of um, time it takes to recover, that it'd be unsafe, but there must be a lot of blocks, um, blocks done in that move. Ooh, nice reflect there. There we go, close it out. Biffapito up first round. Meter very similar. Both of them don't have a bar. That NJP once again coming out from hallway. He did quite a bit of it. Does get some damage. But I feel like he could get more from it. Oh! The armor on the interactable didn't connect. Wake up armor. Um, there's the overhead. Goes for lower and DP's out of that. There we go, the overhead. That should close out the round. Nothing to break there. And Bifapito up 1-0. First bar goes to hallway there. Uses that interactable. Now, I do remember someone at a tournament telling me that that interactable is very unsafe. I haven't seen it being punished in tournament or anything, so people in the chat know any better, let me know. Oh, sends it back. Doesn't uh, doesn't give him for the full combo. Must have had all the soul balls up. There we go. Round two. Fight. 
over the top. Nice read. He just needs to work out a way to get more damage off that. There we go. This could be big damage. Oh, looks like there was a drop at the end there. DP's out. Notice we've always played tonight. There's quite a few DPs coming out at the end of it. It's very unsafe, that move. So if you get the timing right on the punish, you can get lots of uh, lots of damage from it. So I'm surprised the amount that he's chucking it out. There it is again. Oh, with the throw. Tight finish to this game. What's going to happen? Oh, match extended. Oh, and there we go. The DP claims it again. Hawaii is throwing out that DP quite a bit. Bit of a projectile zoning war at the moment. Comes in with the overhead. Goes for the NJP again. He really likes that NJP coming out of Takeda's. When I played last year, I used to like it too. Sort of try and bait a move out, go for it. It's got good range. Particularly liked it for the Devora matchup, but most Devoras in Australia are pretty good. All right, can Hallway close this out here? Oh, oh. Oh, clutch finish hits him with the x ray. Alright, so another game, another game. 2 0. It's first to three, losers final. Premature shaking of the hands there. There's only two. <laughs> Winners final, losers final, grand final, first to three. All right, 2-0 up. Befebito on match point. Now, we also have um, Mortal Kombat 2 on Super Nintendo here currently, and Mortal Kombat 3 on Super Nintendo, currently being played on one of our other setups. I wonder if some of you guys probably wouldn't the um, wouldn't want to see that streamed. <laughs> and instead, of, we will have injustice once this uh, tournament's over. So we are losers final. On oh, raw soul ball going through there. This could be big damage. Thirty-three percent baits it. Where's the punish? Oh, drops the punish. Once again, going for that NJP. Biff Pito looks like he could close this round out. Although Hallway's probably one good combo away from closing the round out himself. And making it 2-1. Oh, he just gets it on the trade by looks at did that trade? Did that not trade? Anyway, Hallway gets his on the board, up 2-1. Is uh, Bifapito going to stick with Master of Souls, or is he going to change? No, he's sticking with it. Round one, fight. Yeah. You guys can probably hear the other games going at the moment. We do have Mortal Kombat 2 on Super Nintendo. We have a couple Injustice setups going at the moment, and a couple Tekken setups going at the moment. So it's definitely fight night here at the Jubilee Hotel. Run by PvP Gaming and streamed by Zill Gaming. No punish on that. The DP needs to be punished. I must say I didn't punish it that well in my game either. The rust was definitely showing. Playing too many other games with Tekken and Injustice being out. 
a few months back. Those games have certainly taken over around here. There we go, match point to Befepito now. It's been quite an interesting set. There's that DP again. Likes to wake up DP. Goes for the throw, and it was ducked clean. This will be big damage. Ooh, dropped that last bit. There's the throw. No, where's no punish once again? Could this be it? What's the point? There it is. Armour um, through it at the end. B for Peter goes up 3-1. Alright, and now we are due for winner's final. Let's get hyped for this one. B for Peter playing against Papa Cheese. Papa Cheese, well known as Solid Snake. For those guys in the chat waiting for injustice, you're not far away from it. All right, let's. Uh, well, actually, we're gonna find Papa Cheese. Where's he gone? Here he is. Grand final. You were you were winners final, so most of the time that does become the grand final. <laughs> so you got Brendan and Dakota, or Papa Cheese and Beth Pato coming up. Winners final. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, good play. All right, so we have a, a button check coming up. We all know the bracket here, so we'll bring up our other screen that we've got going. There's the two boys, as you can see, setting up myself on commentary. And you're probably wondering about all the advertising there. We've got PvP Gaming, the running the event here at the Jubilee Hotel, and still gaming the streaming. So we've got a button check coming up, and then we'll get straight into the game. And then for those people waiting for Injustice, that will be up next. I myself will probably be playing Deadshot in Injustice. We do have some Supergirl. Yeah, we still got some uh, Supergirl mains. Will's been rocking Black Canary. All right, there we go. There's the handshake. Into jump and throw. Nice start there from uh, Papa Cheese. The overhead hits. And Papa Cheese quickly breaks. Sets one orb up. Just waiting to set that other one up. Just trying to drag him in there. Keeping everything safe there, that was quite good. And with that orb set up. Oh, drops that combo. Could have been a bigger punish there, I'm blocking the slide. Keeps the overhead safe with the sword after it, which is only available in the Ninjutsu variation. And Papa G's taking it out.
Raid in there with that um, two hits of armor, so the uh, the back four of Scorpions not going to go through that. Oh, and just drops it. There we go. First game to Papa Cheese. And Biff Apero now going to play a select. <laughs> select. Select. I'm turning Japanesey. <laughs> I was only there a few months ago. <laughs> Alright, so. Come. Kooten Jungle. One of my favourite maps in this game. I hate it. I hate it. No. No, as a, as a Sub Zero main for a bit, the pit is the, not the one you want to go to. <laughs> no. Alright, Brandon with two bars of meter at the moment. It gets opened up. Oh, base the armor. There's the uh, the swords into the low. Very punishable if red. But the double overhead sword is the combo starter. A reasonably safe one block. Minus 11 with pushback. Oh, and the X-ray mid whiffs. This could be a big punish here. Thirty-nine percent, and then what is the mix? Goes for the throw. It was probably close enough for chip territory there. Oh, there we go. The mid, the soul ball, big combo. No meter to break. Wake up, slide. Tries with the uh, double overhead sword. Gets thrown back into the corner. Now, can Brendan close this out? Biff Pedo, can he close it out? Oh, the overhead no follow up with it. That's unsafe. Nice finish there. Gets a jump in for big damage. We're looking at 39, 40. Oh, you no, know, stops it early, gets the reset. Goes for the throw back in the corner. Armour's on the wake up. Nice down four there, then into another low. Goes for the, sp the safe spear with a meter. Papa Cheese up 2 0, very quick. Straight back into it. No change character or anything this time. Nice combo to start with. The reset, 30%. Goes to 2-1 overhead. Oh, and that whiz, where's the punish? Oh, there we go, gets the soul ball. Big combo coming up. Oh, and drops the end of it. Bit of a poke war at the moment. There's a low overhead whisk. Runs in, punishes. Gets the break. He believes he can win this round. Oh, there's the overhead. Nice work. Close this out. Can break if he wants to. I think he might be keeping it for the next one. What's the mix? There's the overhead. Oh, miss whisk the low. No punish. And there's the down three to finish it. We've got match point for Papa Cheese now. Thirty-five percent after the restand goes for the three mids. Hoping that not blocking, pressing a button, waiting for a throw tech. Oh, there's big punish. This could be game. There's, and he goes into the overhead. No brutal. 3-0 to Papa Cheese. So Dakota takes the first game. Not going to say not too surprised with that since he's won all the other ones up here in Brisbane. 
it needs a bit more competition. We are now going to uh, close the stream off for a couple minutes and then we'll get Injustice started. Uh, Luke, you've got a uh, bracket ready for that yeah, one? Yeah. Yep. So guys, thanks for... Alright, so we'll close the stream off guys. Thanks for watching. We will be back online in about two minutes for Injustice. We'll get some games going. I know a few of you have been waiting for it, so thanks for watching and we'll be back in a second.